Hi everyone. Today we are going to discuss about some of the dosage calculations. IV drip in microgram per minute. Physician place an order for injection nitroglycerin 50 mg in 50 ml saline and to be administered 5 microgram per minute. We have to see that how many ml per hour the medication has to administer for the patient. Here is the formula for calculating microgram per minute. So ml per hour is equal to ordered dose multiplied by time in second multiplied by volume divided by available dose in microgram. So here we see what is the ordered dose? Ordered dose order of the physician is 5 microgram per minute. So 5 multiplied by time in second because we have to see ml per hour. So 1 hour is equal to 60 minutes. So 60 into what is the volume? Medication has to dilute in 50 ml saline. So that's the volume. So 50 divided by available dose in microgram. What is the available dose? Available dose here is 50 mg. So 50 mg in microgram. Uh, to convert mg into microgram, mul uh, multiply by 1000. So 50 into 1000. So 0 0.3 ml per hour we have to administer for the patient. Hope you understood. So the second calculation is we can calculate in microgram per kg per minute. Here is an example. Physician place an order for injection dopamine 200 mg in 50 ml saline. Weight of the patient is 60 kg to be administered 5 microgram per kg per minute. So the difference from microgram per minute and microgram per kg per minute is in per kg per minute we have to calculate according to the weight of the patient. So we have we can calculate ml per hour is equal to that is how many ml per hour patient has to get ordered dose multiply by weight of the patient multiply by time in second multiply by weight volume divided by available dose in microgram. Ordered dose is 5 microgram per kg per minute. 5 multiply by what is the weight of the patient 60 time in second again 1 hour we are calculating so 60 second multiply by 50 ml. 50 ml is the volume divided by 200 mg is the injection dopamine available dose. So 200 multiply by 1000 that is 4.5 ml per hour patient has to get. Only the difference is here we have to add weight of the patient. Hope you understood about the calculation of microgram per kg per minute and microgram per minute. Now we will see what are the drugs which there are some drugs which is which we can give in microgram per minute and some drugs in microgram per kg per minute that we will discuss now. Here are some of the drugs which is using in the intensive care units, critical care units in microgram per minute and microgram per kg per minute. These are some of the examples. Injection nitroglycerin, injection adrenaline, injection phenylephrine and injection hydrolysine usually we are calculating according to microgram per minute is the unit. For microgram per kg per minute, injection dopamine, injection dobitamine and injection noradrenal. Here are the some of the examples. Thank you for watching the dosage calculations.